All right, here we are. Uh, we're getting ready to start our next uh, lesson, our third lesson, actually, in the music theory series, using the circle of fifths to determine our key signatures. This is a very important uh, operation because if you can figure out what those little sharps and flats thingies mean at the beginning of every piece of music that you might have thrown at you, then you are on your way to understanding how that piece of music will work. Again, the circle of fifths is like a Rosetta Stone. We're going to look at the key signatures and determine quickly what key we're in. We know what key we're in, we know the scale we'll use, we know the chords that are available to us. Uh, if you're a songwriter and you want to write in the key of G, well, you need to know what chords are in the key of G. And if you see a piece of music with one sharp in it, you will know that piece of music is in the key of G. And then you will be able to ascertain very quickly what the major scale is going to be, what chords you're going to use. By the way, those are, those are upcoming lessons. Uh, and you're off to the races. So let's just do this. This will be a quick little lesson. There isn't much to it. Uh, if you are able to draw the circle of fifths, I would suggest you do that ahead of time, just to give yourself practice for doing it. And uh, let's see what happens. See you in a bit. Bye. All right, let's get started. We're gonna. Here's your circle of fifths. You should be old friends with this fella by now. We're going to be looking at applying the circle of fifths to figure out what key we're in. Why is that important? Well, if you know the key you're in, you know your major scale, you know your pentatonic scale, you know your modal scales, you know almost everything you need to know to work that piece of music that you're given. All right, we're going to find the key signatures now. The letters on the outside of the circle tell us the letter name of the key we're dealing with. The numbers inside the circle tell us how many sharps or flats are in that key. Here's the flat side. Letters on the outside tell the name of the key. Numbers on the inside of the circle tell us how many flats are going to be in that key. All right, let's take a look at the key of A as an example. You see to the lower right-hand corner of the diagram the treble clef and the bass clef. How many sharps do you see there? Three. Find the three on the sharp side of the circle. Well, what is it? Well, it's next to the letter A. Guess what key we're in? We're in the key of A. It's not that hard. Let's take a look at another one. How many sharps do you see in the key signature down there? Well, I see four sharps. If I see four sharps, find the four on the sharp side of the diagram. And what letter is it next to? It's next to the key of E. Look at this key signature. What do we have? Well, we have one flat. All right, so go to the flat side of the circle of fifths and take a look. Find the one. What letter is next to the one? It's an F. Hey, guess what key we're in? We're in the key of F. See, this isn't hard. Count the flats or sharps, find that number on the right side of the circle or the left side of the circle, look at the letter. How about this guy? There's four flats. So go to the flat side of the diagram, find four. What letter is next to four? A flat. Guess what key we're in? A flat. See, that's not hard. Count, put the number next to the letter, we're off to the races. Here's another one. How many sharps do you see? I see two sharps. All right, we'll go to the sharp side of the circle, find a two. What letter's next to that two? D. You have just taken a very, very important step in your musical knowledge. Now you can identify a key a song is in. How cool is that? Let me tell you all the stuff you know now. So what do you know? What do you really know? Well, you know how to draw a circle of fifths. That's no small thing. You can now identify the key signature of any song. So how do you practice? Well, you start looking at songbooks, hymnals, lead sheets, any and all types of music that you can find. Look at the key signatures and try to figure it out. From here on out, folks, it starts to get cool. Really cool.